YouTube. Welcome back to another video. This is Layer 4 Layer Episode 3. Let's get it. YouTube, welcome back. I missed y'all. I missed y'all very much, okay? And it, and it hasn't even been that long, okay? So, we got another layer for layer video. Today, I am breaking down my curry poster. Right. And so, I created this literally kind of like off the top of my head. And if y'all haven't checked the last video out, go check it out because it's heat. And literally, what I was saying in there is kind of what goes into this one now you know because like i said i came off the top of my head and usually i don't like to go off the top of my head with designs but this one i just felt it in the soul i just felt it i just knew it let's go ahead and get into it we're gonna go ahead and break it down i'm gonna go ahead and give y'all the little sauce all right so let's go ahead and dive into it right now okay so here we go here we go so first of all we want to see the dimensions of this okay 1400 by 1750 okay 72 resolution let's get it so first off first off well let's go ahead and get the idea because a lot of people have problems getting ideas all right and let me just come back and talk to y'all real quick so a lot of y'all have problems with getting ideas what well, ideas are not that hard to get first of all curry who does he play for the golden state warriors right okay cool all right so we want to add a logo up in there for golden state just so we know you know because some people don't even know that he plays on the warriors you know because we have people that are not even sports fans first of all okay second of all he's a splash brother you know what i'm saying green heat so with that being said we want to put him in the water and plus what is it san francisco like the little bay bridge right there you know what i'm talking about it's like right there near water so it makes sense to put him near some water if we think about it in a photography sense, we always want a background, a middle ground, and a foreground. We always got to think about that because that should be in every one of your designs. And even if you don't use it, at least use the background and the middle ground, okay? All right. So, hey, that, that's basically all it is for the ideas because the ideas is really not hard. Once you have a solid idea, everything stems from that. Just like I went from golden state warriors and then i had splash brothers you can come up with endless ideas with that you know it's just about the execution but we gonna show you how to execute well at least i'm gonna show you how they i don't know who we is i'm gonna show you how to execute this so let's go ahead and dive right back into it all right so first of all first of all we want to go ahead and start with the background which is the sky and like i said in my skies i love to have contrast i love to have contrast in my designs because that's what every design needs is some contrast all right so we got the light set up for the light and for curry all right so the second thing i want to add just like i told y'all i want to add a logo because some people don't even know some people just do not know so we need to incorporate that somewhere so as far as the cutout it might look a little shaky but the cutout is going over this so don't even worry about this part i'm gonna just be honest okay now we have curry where did i get these images from you may say getty images go ahead and check out the video with getty images and how to get your images for free is it's simple i'm gonna just be honest it's simple okay so the next thing we want to add is some water because like i said he's a splash brother so we got to show why he's a splash brother we got to show where he lives he lives in the ocean because he just splashed out like that so now we want to set up our composition a little bit more like i said you don't really have to worry too much about the cutout sometimes because sometimes i may just like blur it or you know just different things of that sort i want to finish out by adding some water and see this right here in the foreground i'm gonna add like some fish and stuff like that just to give it a different look just to add something different because you don't see a lot of stuff like that in sports designs okay so now under this rock because we have a rock floating here and we don't just want to leave it floating like that's not realistic we have to think in realistic terms so let's duplicate that layer and put it down here and just blend it in how do we even blend it in you may ask all i did color balance then 
you want saturation then exposure boom just that simple so i wanted to add the trophy in here too how did i add the trophy i just split it into two and added the same adjustment layers exposure select the color and then we just added the color balance down here too and we did the same thing i just cut this part out and literally did the same exact adjustment layers to match it up just that simple so i wanted to add some birds in here for the foreground you know just to have something blurred because hey why not have something blurred up in here it makes a focal point that's what i want for them to focus on curry that's it all right so we have a bird right here and then we have another bird you know just to give it another look i just don't want to leave the other bird hanging nah i don't want to do that so the next thing we want to do is add a wave boom and you see like i said you don't have to go fully in with the cutout because you obviously see the cutout is not so good over here but i covered it up with the wave so don't even worry about it but what you want to make sure you do is match up all your colors okay use the same adjustment layers it's just that simple because we don't want because these are obviously different images right and just to be honest you know when you find different in images some of them may have a different exposure you know maybe the color on it may be a little bit different maybe it might have a more warm tone maybe another one might have a more cool tone you never know so you want to make sure that you match up all of your colors with the same adjustment layers it, it's really simple you know it, it takes a little time but it's simple you know so this one right here was just a little shadow that I added. I really didn't have to have it, but just in case somebody is like a detail fanatic, which I know I am. So under here, we have the fish. All right. If you can peep down here is the fish, you know, because you see the water right here. I already have my trophy floating. So let's go ahead and add some fish because, you know, that's where fish just live. All right. And so you may ask, Seth, how do you blend it in? Well, let's go and see how I blended it in. Hue and saturation. Over here with these settings. All right. And then after that, I just added exposure. It's really not hard to blend stuff in in Photoshop. Do not overthink your designs and your blending. All right. So with just with that being said, look how far we've already come in this design. Okay. Like I said, laying out your design is really not that hard all right so light right here to pop it out some more and what's this down here a splash because guess what he it looked like he just took off so we want to add a little splash a little dip you know a little drop that's it all right now we are done with that piece and as you guys recognize it's really not that hard to create artwork just like that all you have to do is have your composition and remember how are you supposed to get your ideas? If you think of one solid thing, everything can stem. If he's a splash brother, you can get water, you can get a million things from it, okay? Two, another, and another thing, because I know I mess up a whole lot, is make sure that you plan out, make sure that you got a little sketchbook or something to sketch out your ideas. Because sometimes they may come off the top of your head, but if you go ahead and sketch it down, visualize it, you may get 10 times more ideas okay so with that being said it's another episode of layer for layer i'm chef and i'm out